Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Atish. I am working as a data scientist here in Gurgaon, India. Today we are going to create a very unique, you know, exciting data project using speech recognition library on audio data. By the end of this video, we will have all the key information from the audio content, including automatic audio transcription, text analysis, word cloud for the most frequently occurring words, automatic content summary, and highlights of most important phrases and words. We often think of speech recognition as something that only exists in the past decades when deep learning started to take off, which is wrong. Actually, there have been six decades of, you know, around 60 years of intense research into speech recognition using several methods to dive into what we now call, you know, audio intelligence. In 1950s, to recognize the spoken digits, researchers typically used forms and traces of audio, which basically represents patterns in the audio frequency, which helps us to recognize the digit. But these kind of methods, of course, only work for a simple task with a small set of data. In 1980s and 90s, increased computational power allowed for more sophisticated modeling and training. In these decades, hidden Markov models and later in 2000s, Gaussian mixture models were widely used for speech recognition tasks. Fast forward in 2010s, you know, uh, here comes deep learning as we know it today. In 2020s, now, you know, where we are now having the cutting edge AI speech models, which can create human, you know, human compatible transcriptions. And these models are getting fine tuned further to be really as good as humans or even better in some of the cases. There are many speech recognition APIs available nowadays, and most of them are free for beginners. Today, we are going to look at how you can take this speech and turn it into text using AI. And the really crazy thing is that it doesn't even, you know, does a better job than most human does. You can use it with English and 96 other languages. It works even if you have a lot of background noise and it also works if you have a very thick accent. The best part is that it's completely free and also open source. Let's check out how to do this. We are going to use an AI tool called Whisper. Whisper is made by a company called OpenAI and you might have heard of them before. That's the same company behind the immensely popular ChatGPT, which allows you to converse with a computer. Whisper is an automatic you know, speech recognition system trained on 680,000 hours of multilingual and multitask supervised data collected from the web. You can install Whisper directly on your computer. In this exercise, we are going to use Google Collaboratory. This allows you to run the code directly in the web browser. So it doesn't really matter what type of PC you are having, what is the configuration of your system, whether you have CPU or GPU or what is the RAM limitation. So yeah, to use Google Collaboratory, let's head to the Google Drive. Let's configure the Collaboratory notebook. In the top left hand corner, first off, let's give our file a name. I will write it as a audio transcribe and then enter. Now let's go to the first cell and let's click here and then, you know, uh, before implementing the code, let's go to runtime. Let's go to change runtime type. Now let's make sure that we have selected GPU as the runtime hardware accelerator and then click on save. It turns out that graphic cards run these models extremely well. Next click on save. We need to install Whisper AI. So let's go in this field right here and enter the code. You will find this code in the description box. Here, first we will install Whisper from the Git repository. Then we will install FFMPEG, which is one of the requirements of the, you know, uh, Whisper AI prerequisite. This, you know, allows us to work with audio and video files. Now I will enter pre run. So you can see that it is getting installed. It will take uh, a few seconds to getting installed. So yes, it has gotten installed within 25 seconds. Now let's upload the file that we want to transcribe. Over in the left hand side, let's click on this folder icon. Now we can, you know, drag the audio file here. I have the audio file from one of the greatest speech of Steve Jobs, or, you know, that is popularly known as stay hungry, stay fullest, uh, you know, speech during the convocation ceremony at Stanford. So I'm going to, you know, drag, drag this audio file here. Here it is asking me that ensure that your files are saved elsewhere. This runtime files will be deleted when this runtime is terminated. I will say, okay. 
now it is getting uploaded in the meanwhile i will you know start typing the uh, code that will transcribe this uh, audio file i will type here whisper now here we will enter the file name that we want and next we will give the model argument which i will pass as medium now let's wait for the file to get uploaded so yeah once the file has uploaded we can see here on the left hand side if you don't find it here you can you know just click on the refresh button now let's copy the full path of the file and let's paste it over here now just you know simply run this cell first it will show you know the bar icon of the model object getting loaded getting downloaded once that happens it will start processing the audio you know input file and start outputting the transcription for you we can see that the transcriptions are coming out with the timestamps you can read you know few the first uh, you know few lines it today i want to tell you three stories from my life that it no big deal just three stories the first story is about connecting dots i dropped out of reed college after first six months but stayed around as a drop in for another 18 months or so so yeah i mean it's pretty clean you can see the uh, you know um, capitalizations in the initials then the punctuations here and there so it's very neat so it has now finished running and right down here i can see a transcript of everything that was said in the audio file also over the left hand side you can see you know couple of files the srt file the tsv the txt the vtt file the txt file contains you know all the text that has been said and transcribed uh, from the audio file in the srt and vtt uh, there are captions formats uh, of the you know uh, text that has been transcribed with time stamps so you know what was said when to download any one of these files you can click on the uh, you know right hand side the three dots and then you know click on the download button you also have some additional parameters that you can use uh, you can you know let's write down the syntax for that whisper space hyphen h and then run this cell you will also find this command in the description so the output here is here uh, you can see the different arguments that can be passed which is like model the different types of models tiny base base small english medium large v1 v2 large model directory you can pass the model directory the device that you are using the output directory where you want to save the output format you, we have seen the srt and the txt format you can save in json format as well verbos language you can trans you know do the transcription or translation in different languages as well and you know different things and you can find the descriptions of these arguments down here as well now in the next part of this exercise we are going to perform analysis of the transcription that we have just generated and we are going to apply some of the nlp methods you know first is text cleaning then stop word removal then tokenization count vectorization then creating a word cloud in the last we will try to do the text summarization of this speech so guys the next step in our exercise is to do the text processing from the transcription that we have generated for this i have imported the required libraries like numpy pandas globe for regex i have imported re and string as well so let's first load the txt file so i have loaded the txt file you can see that i have replaced any you know space character after the lines with space and then i have also uh, you know converted the lines into lower because we will be doing uh, keyword tokenizations and then deduping and then coming out with the count vectors etc for this we need uh, you know all the words to be in the same case which is lower case in this case so in the next step of doing the text processing what i will do is that i will remove the punctuations from the text and 
you know for this i have used regex in string dot punctuation which will give the uh, different types of punctuations available and let's run it now now let's print the output so as you can see uh, there are no punctuations uh, in this anymore so in the next step i will what i will do is that i will remove the stop words and tokenize the sentence so basically removing the stop words means there are you know different words that will normally occur in the sentences like i me is there etc which we don't want i mean there is no much relevance and the occurrence of these words will be of a higher frequency so these are normally called as stop words we are using jensen for the you know stop words and also you know for further down the process we will need to tokenize the word and apply other nlp methods and hence we will be downloading wordnet and punct uh, from nltk let's run it now while it is running uh, it has successfully downloaded the packages uh, now while removing the stop words you can also define your custom list of stop words uh, for example i have you know added certain stop words to this already predefined list like hello yeah bye thank thank police etc and you know now let's run the stop words and then tokenize the words so yeah you can see that we have you know run the stop words and then we have tokenized uh, generated the word tokens and now we have different words that are appearing now in the next step we will perform lemmatization lemmatization you know is the process in the nlp where it considers the context and converts any word to its meaningful base form which is called lemma for instance lemmatizing the word caring would return care you know or uh, asking where would return ask it will help us to get the root word or the base word uh, for any you know uh, word in the text document and help us do more processing or more you know translation and analyzing of the different context for this i am you know importing the wordnet lemmatizer from nltk let's run it i will be running it on the clean word list that i had generated above from tokenization method now we have you know successfully run the lemmatization let's run this so yeah here we have the uh, you know different lemmatized form we'll compare it with the clean words list and we can see that stories has been converted to story so for the word cloud i have imported uh, you know word cloud from word cloud library now what i am doing is the next in the next step is that i will be looping around uh, through the tokens lemmatized list and generate the you know uh, a sentence or a you know string using those words let's run this cell and then let's run this one now let's generate the word cloud and print the image So here I have given different arguments like minimum font size as five, background color as white, maximum number of words in the word cloud as two hundred. You can reduce it to your choice or increase it to the maximum limit. Now you can see that uh, you know decided, month, life, college. These are the most frequently occurring words and hence having the higher font size versus got, figure, entire, etc. so coming to the final step of our of our text summarization exercise or text analysis exercise is the text summarization here i have already written the code uh, i will walk you walk you through uh, what i have written in this code and what it does is that first of all uh, you know in the first section i am importing the libraries for the code to work space is a natural language processing library that can be used to tokenize and process text stop word is a set of common stop words for english language processing punctuation is the set of common punctuation marks uh, now in the next section we are calling the function summarize which is having two argument text and per text is the text uh, you know for which we want the summarization and per is the percentage of sentences to be included in the summary 
Now in the next section, we are loading the you know, English language model in SPC and processes the input using that model. The result is stored in a doc, which is a SPC doc uh, object that represents the processed text. Now in the next section, you know, uh, we are creating a list of uh, tokens that contains the text of each token in the processed text. Now we are declaring a word frequency library. In the uh, next function, we are calculating the you know frequency of different word that is you know that is uh, present in the process text. It iterates through each word in the doc and checks if it is a stop word or punctuation. If it is not, it adds the word to word frequency and increments its frequency count. Now in the next section, uh, you know. Once we have the word frequency, we are also uh, storing the maximum frequency. And then what we are doing is that uh, we are normalizing the frequency of each word in the word frequencies by dividing each frequency by the maximum frequency in the dictionary. This ensures that all word frequencies are between 0 and 1. Now, in the next section, we are you know uh, calculating the sentence tokens that contains the text of each sentence in the process text. Dog dot sentence is a generator that yields the sentence span uh, as you can see here in the process text now comes the final part where you know um, the this section creates a dictionary called sentence scores which you can see here what it does is that uh, you know the score for each sentence in the process text it iterates through each sentence in the sentence tokens and checks if any of its word are in word frequencies if so it adds the word frequency to the sentence score this section you know uh, selects the most common uh, most important sentences based on their score which is stored in uh, sentence score and then finally joins them and returns them now let's run this code So now we can see that the summary, summary for, through the summarize function is here for a 4% threshold. Uh, let's read it some, you know, few lines of this summary. No one wants to die even when people who want to go to heaven don't want to die to get there. And yet that is the destination we all share. No one has ever escaped it. And that is as it should be because that is very likely the single best invention of life. And it ends, you know, uh, with the sentences like the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work and the only way to do great work is to do is to love what you do and you know 17 years later I did go to college but I naively chose a college that was almost as expensive as Stanford and all of my working class parents savings were being spent on my college tuition so yeah this is a very crisp summary of the you know text let's look at the original text So, you know, uh, the original text of the 10 minutes long video is very, very long and uh, using the spatial library and the sentence organizer function, we have been able to do a pretty good, uh, you know, job of summarizing the concrete uh, message that Steve Jobs was trying to uh, tell us. I hope you guys have followed through the steps that I showed in the video and have found it useful, please leave a comment in the comment box below if you have tried something on your own. I will share the notebook link in the description, be description box below. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Till next time, bye-bye.